Power Minister E.T. Mondol, while addressing media personnel on Thursday, discussed the various challenges facing Meghalaya's power sector, focusing on losses of MECL and its subsidies involved in the generation transmission and distribution of electricity. Mondal highlighted key concerns including financial constraints, distribution losses, while also expressing optimism about the future. When questioned about the CAG report, which identified significant losses within the power sector, the minister acknowledged the difficulties but remained hopeful about improvements. See, we are working on it. It is uh, not an easy thing. And uh, forget about our uh, uh, generation distribution and transmission uh, companies. Uh, even in other states also, it is a similar situation. Uh, there are uh, lots of uh, issues are concerned. And uh, uh, for example, the distribution uh, is uh, missing because a loss is on ATNC and uh, transmission and distribution uh, losses are there. Is also the dues from the consumers these are there. So we are trying to see that losses are minimized, efficiency is increased. This will indirectly help our uh, consumers also. We are working on it and uh, situations are better. And uh, if we work on this and it continues like that, uh, things will be very positive. So the CM said that uh, the maximum among the PSUs, maximum bleeding is from four sectors of your organization. Yes, it is uh, 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 true and he is right also. But only difference is that in any other PSUs, if you don't supplement, it will be relating to the wages and salaries of the, uh, uh, the staffs there. But in MECL, if uh, government, this of his finance department don't help, so you don't get electricity also. So, government look out, especially Honorable Chief Minister's uh, target is to see that electricity is provided to the consumers uninterruptedly. And because of that, supplement is required. You've got to buy power, especially in lean seasons. And government of Meghalaya is helping in a big way. And in that process, uh, uh, the amount is also very high. If these amounts are not required to provide to MEPDCL, just imagine how many roads could be constructed, how many hospitals could be constructed, how many school colleges could be constructed. This is the concern of Honorable Chief Minister. And he told us in very clear terms that uh, whatever reforms needed to be done as per the three uh, corporations are there under the holding corporation should be looked into. And we are working on that. Uh, it is not easy that overnight we do it because uh, lots of problems are there. Borrowings were there, loan components are there, dues are there. All affected uh, the distribution system, even to generation and transmission also. So do you believe that uh, MECL uh, or the power sector as a whole can revive that totally? Yes, I am positive and that's why we are working on it. And uh, you might have seen also that there are a lot of improvements also uh, compared to last year and last to last year. And I'm thankful to our Honorable Chief Minister. Without his guidance and support, it would not have been possible because finance is uh, giving us all the uh, resources that we require. And uh, MECL also uh, working in a very professional way. Uh, till uh, the date I have taken over, I have seen they are working. You uh, must be seeing that uh, Cyclone Rimal has uh, devastatingly destroyed our transmission line. And very swiftly and very competently, MECL has restored uh, uh, these uh, lines. Though we had to employ additional uh, manpower uh, to restore the supply chain, but we are doing. This year, uh, fortunately, uh, we have not gone for a single minute's uh, load shedding. But you may complain also that why so much uh, power disruptions, uh, power cuts and all these things. These are because of the shutdown that requires for maintenance work. Uh, these are shut down uh, because of some uh, uh, conductor get snaps or some transformer get uh, uh, blown off. Uh, exactly, uh, there is uh, no uh, decision taken so far to downsizing the uh, staffing pattern of MECL. Rather, we need uh, some more uh, engineers uh, than the junior engineers. 
even uh, stuffs like uh, jogalis uh, then your uh, other things also uh, we are having a shortage of manpower also but because of financial uh, uh, constraints we are not able to take uh, more uh, manpower uh, as of now we are not uh, thinking of uh, uh, reducing the manpower another thing uh, maybe in the long run we may face this problem is that uh, we may go for a smart meter implementation because uh, we are getting pressure from center also that uh, smart meter should be implemented as far as possible. So if we go for a smart meter, uh, many of our meter readers will be uh, not required. So 800 of them are there. If they are not required, uh, where we'll put them? So maybe redeployment or rearrangement, something like that. So we are working very cautiously to see that this uh, uh, sector is having uh, uh, some hope as far the consumers are concerned. And uh, we also request our esteemed consumers that you got to cooperate with uh, MECL because uh, MECL is uh, mandated to earn its own uh, resources to run its show. So as of now, uh, because of losses and all these things, we are not able to do it. But we are working on it. I am thankful to uh, some good officers who are uh, giving quality time to see that uh, MECL is on its feet.